Well, welcome to this uh, session. Uh, my name is Jill Evans and I'm uh, on the board of the Academy Heddwch Cymru and I'll be speaking in Welsh. So those of you who would like to use the translation service into English, uh, there is a button that you can push to get um, the simultaneous translation. Uh, Jill Evans at we, Croeso'r i'r session yma ar heddwch iechyd a chredig groes. Diolch i bawb sydd wedi cyfrannu hyd yma, mae'r sesiynau wedi bod yn ddiddorol dros ben, rwyf wedi dysgu llawer ac rwyf wedi cael yn ysbrydoli hefyd. Yn y sesiwn yma, byddwn ni'n edrych ar rôl creadig groes a'r celfyddydau yn ein dadansoddiad o heddwch ac iechyd. Nid yw hwn wedi cael eu trafa digon yn fy mani ac rwy'n gobeithio bydd yn dangos i ni pa fath o lwybrau y gellid eu dilyn yn y dyfodol yn ymwedig wrth gwrs yn ein gwaith fel Academy Heddwch. Mae'r sesiwn yn cael eu recordio fel bod pawb yn ymwybodol. Mae'r modd, mae modd gofyn cwestiwn trwy'r Q&A fel yn y sesiynau eraill ac fel fi wedi ysbonio yn barod mae cyfieithu i'r Saesneg ar gael trwy wasgydd botwm priodol. Mae'n bleser mawr gen ni gyflwyno'r siaradwyr bydd yn siarad am rhyw chwadr awr yr un falle typ yn bach mwy na hynny a wedyn bydd cyfle i ni trafod cwestiynau ar y diwedd ac byddwn ni'n gorffen 5 neu 10 munud wedi tri, ddim uh, hanner wedi tri, fel mae'n dweud yn yr amserlen, ond mae digon o amser gyda ni. Felly yn gyntaf, um, oedd hwn uh, gyflwyno Dr. Rhys Bevan Jones. Mae Dr. Rhys Bevan Jones yn psychiatrydd ac yn ymchwilydd yn Prifysgol Cadiz. Mae e hefyd yn artist a wedi profi llwyddiant yn y byd celf. Mae ar gaffiadau e wedi adangos er enghraifft yn y lle celf yn yr oesteddfod genedlaethol. Mae bellach yn ymchwilio i'r drefnydd o ddarluniau a chyfryngau digidol yn y byd ymchwil, therapy ac addysg. Hefyd gyda ni mae Dr Francis Williams sydd yn addysgu y celfyddydau mewn iechyd yn Prifysgol Glyndwr lle mae'n gymrawd ymchwil er anhrydedd. Yn 2019, cwblhau oedd PhD yn Prifysgol Metropolitan Mancainion, ac hwnnw yn edrych ar y bythynnes rhwng lle a datgynoli a'r celfyddydau mewn iechyd. Mae ar fi'n cyhoeddi llyfr When Was Arts in Health? A History of the Present sydd yn teitl diddorol iawn. Felly, gai ofyn i Dr. Rhys Bevan i siarad gyntaf. Diolch yn fawr iawn. Chi'n gallu clywed fi'n iawn? Dwi. Na i just uh, siario'r sleidiau nawr. Right, gobeithio bod chi'n gallu gweld y, y sleid na. Um, Felly, fel diolch, Jill, a neis i gwrdd â chi. Felly, fel um, Jill yn sôn, fi'n gweithio am Rhifau Sôc Dydd, um, bennaf yn yr adran uh, iechyd meddwl. Um, ond hefyd yn y rhan dda, um, gweithio gyda pobl ifanc, gyda'r gwasanaeth iechyd uh, genedlaethol, uh, yn edrych ar ôl pobl uh, gyda anasteri iechyd meddwl, fel Iselder, Seicosis, uh, hefyd yn delio gyda bethau fel uh, autistiaeth hefyd. A heddi, hoffwn i siarad am y diddordeb yr ymchwil ma mewn um, darlunio'r meddwl neu uh, cynrychioli'r meddwl a chyflyrau'r meddwl yn weledol ac yn gredigol. Jyst i roi bach mwy o gemdir, um, fel yn i sôn, mi'n gweithio fel seikiatrydd, uh, ond hefyd gyda gemdir yn ymchwil a dysgu yma yn Rhifysgol Cydydd, yng nghe destun fel um, Iselder, Pryder, Psychosis, uh, ADHD, Autistiaeth. Um, ond hefyd gyda'r cefndir yn y uh, celfyddydau a 
um, cyfathrebu gweledol nes i uh, graddio yn, yn darlunio ac animeiddio ym Mhrifysgol Kingston Rai Blynyddoedd yn ôl. A wedi dod ar sgiliau yma i gyd at ei gilydd, drwy um, gwbl o gymryddoedd uh, eithau gyda'r uh, National Institute of Health Research ar, ar y top yna hefyd ymchwil iechyd a gofal Cymru ac yn mynd i sôn rhyw faint am y prosiectau yna nawr. Um, Allwn wedi bod â diddordau mawr dros y blynyddoedd yn sut mae uh, mae'r meddwl ac uh, yr ymennydd wedi cael eu gyfleu yn weledol uh, drwy roesoedd um, o uh, chi'n edrych trwy'r lluniau yma jyst fel y siampl, uh, siample um, o'r ar y top yna ar y chwith o'r medieval cell doctrine drwy ffrenoleg, drwy encyclopedia plant a'r comics a wedyn lluniau gan bobl sydd wedi profi yn asterydd fel yr gwaelod yn y canol bynna ac hefyd y modelau ni defnyddio mewn therapi yr enghraifft yr esiampl yma o uh, defnyddio trosiad o ffactori mewn uh, therapi ar gyfer uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Yn y byd psychiatric dwsdan i ddim o'r cyfeiriadau gweledol sydd gan y nifer o arbenigau dde eraill fel clafyddygaeth yr enghraifft. Um, I ni'n ynddelio yn bennaf gyda disgrifiadau geiriol fel arfer o um, symptomau o brofiadau pobl. Felly mae'n sialens mae'n heri ni ei greu um, uh, uh, cynrychwyliaethau gwledol. Ond wrth gwrs, mae pethau fel y Neuro Imaging yr ymennydd ac yn y blaen yn dod â cyfeiriadau um, gwledol i ni. A pan o'n i yn ymhrifysgol Kingston, nes i ofyn i lot o bobl um, cydweithwyr, ffrindiau, teulu, siwt o'n nhw'n gweld y meddwl, a nes i dar, um, darlunio hwn uh, y llun mae'r y, y chwith um, yn seiliedig ar ei atebio nhw, a wych chi'n gallu gweld lot o ddisgrifiadau gwahanol, um, a cefyd defnydd o drosiadau, a falle um, rhai cyfeiriadau at anasteryl, rhai wedi profi hefyd, a gallwn ni i ddewis ar gyfer y lle celf ar yn ôl 2008 sy'n credu. Ac mae wedi cael ei ddefnyddio um, ar enghraifft ar y Gyrraedd Richard Journal Psychiatry ac gyfer y digwyddiadau yn y Brifysgol hefyd. A trosiad arall sydd wedi cael ei ddefnyddio drwy'r oesoedd yw'r Palas y Cof ar y top ar y ddef yna hefyd sydd yn ofod, yn arferiad o greu gofod yn y pen i chi'n gallu storio gwybodaeth a mae'n ôl i'r oes groegaidd. Um, a chi'n gallu creu unrhyw o fod i chi eisiau yn palas, yn temwl, neu unrhyw beth sy'n gyfarwydd i chi. Felly mae diddordeb yma yn, yn y meddwl a cynrychioli'r meddwl yn, 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 yn bwysig i fi. Ond hefyd, sydd chi'n gallu cynrychioli cyflyrau meddwl a anasteryau iechu meddwl, fel i selder yn yr achos yma, ble wnes si i weithdai gyda myfyrwyr meddygol, yn gofyn i nhw siwt maen nhw'n gweld y meddwl ac o drwy disgrifiadau, a brasluniau creu'r montaj yma. Um, a wedi wneud animeiddiad o hwn hefyd, i chi'n gallu gweld yn y link ar YouTube ar y gwaelod fan yna, hapus i, I rannu'r links mae i gyd ar y diwedd. Um, a, drwy, a, ca, a gofyn i uh, gerddorion hefyd creu um, uh, cyrnlleoli'r uh, anasteru yma yn drwy sain a drwy gerddoriaeth hefyd. Ac hefyd wedi ymchwilio i ffyrdd um, cyflyrau eraill yr enghraifft ffobia cymdeithasol yn yr etching ma ar y dde. Trwy weithio gyda um, myfyrwyr meddygol yn enwedig, fi wedi hefyd defnyddio'r lluniau yma yng Nghydestun Llawlyfrau, uh, Sleidiau, ond hefyd edrych ar ffilm a sut mae uh, y meddwl a salwch meddwl wedi i cyfleu mewn ffilmiau um, a, a trafod y symptomau ar, ar I ffordd maen nhw wedi delio ar cyflyrau yma yn, yn y ffilmiau gyda'r myfyrwyr. Um, wrth gwrs, mae yna uh, siamplau positif a chywir, ond hefyd rhai sydd ddim mor positif ac yn bwysig delio gyda a trafod beth sy'n gweithio yn, yn parhau'r stigma um, yn y byd ffilm ac uh, cymdeithas yn y hangach. A hefyd wedi darlunio rhai llyfrau a chi'n gallu gweld uh, rhai o'r um, Wrth i fi ddarlunio mae'r diddordeb yma yn yr ymennydd ar pen a'r corff yn dod trwyddo yn aml yn y lluniau yma yn enwedig, yn enwedig y, y lluniau trwy gwasgomer er enghraifft hwn, lluniau yn bynhen. Scrooge gan Eirig Salisbury, um, cyfres o, o gerddi ganddo fe, 
on hefyd uh, cyfres y lyfrau um, gwych gan uh, Mererid, uh, hoffwn sydd un o'r trefnwyr heddiw, wrth gwrs, ac uh, mae'r llun ar y gweilod fyna ar y dde, yn tu fewn pen un o'r brif y gymeriadau yn, um, yn y cyfres y lyfrau dosbarth mis prydferch, ac yn cyfle i drystwch a'i fyddoliau be. Ond hefyd wedi defnyddio'r lluniau ar um, difodau bydd mewn prosiectau public engagement neu ymgysylltu gyda'r cyhoedd trwy gwbl o uh, arddangos feidd y mae cardydd fel um, hwn, uh, from bench to brain, y ble o'n i'n creu um, tia, arddangos fan hefyd trefnu nifer o weithdai gyda grwpiau ar enghraifft o ysgolion o'r uh, brifysgol, ar lunwyr, uh, beirdd ac uh, y cyhoedd yn gyffredinol a cael trafodaeth um, um, iechyd meddwl ac ymchwil iechyd meddwl ac hefyd gweithio gyda'r cerddorion yma um, Gareth Roberts neu fan ar y gwaelod ar y dde. Ac yn i wedi sgrennu hyn, um, eto'n hapus i, i rannu'r dolenni yma ar papur yma um, am, am y prosiect. A dyma brosiect mwy diweddar, um, eto'n mae blog am hyn ar wefan y uh, uh, gynolfan iechyd meddwl genedlaethol, ren CMH. Um, Ar gyfer hwn, nes i weithio drwy grant gyda'r cyngor Celfyddydau, gyda Gareth Roberts y cerddor a'i fand i agofyn i lot o pobl eto drwy holiaduron sut o'r bydden nhw'n cynnyrcholi meddwl mewn um, amwyledol, ond hefyd drwy sain a drwy cerddoriaeth. Ac wedi'n creu nifer o, beth yn ei galw, yn sgorau graffeg neu graffeg scores um, yn seiliedig ar yr atebion yma. Ac yr oedd yr rhain ar themau yr enghraifft um, teithio, themau me mecanyddol. Ac fe wnaeth mae'r sgorau graffeg yn ymwneud â um, darluniau sy'n defnyddio nodau a marciau a darluniau sy'n tu fas uh, nodau traddodiadol cerddoriaeth. Ond hefyd yn rhywbeth mae cerddorion yn gallu ymateb i a creu i fersiwn nhw ac ei um, ymateb nhw i'r, i'r gwaith. Yna beth nathon ni yn lansiad y prosiect uh, ac eto'n chi'n gallu gweld uh, blog am hwn ac animeiddiad amdano ar y gwylod trwy YouTube. A llynedd um, i ddigo ffodus gael ngwaith yn y lle celf am um, cof, o'r enw cofnodion, ble o'n i'n gofyn i lot o bobl am ei profiadau nhw o'r pandemig a'r uh, cyfnod clo ac uh, defnyddio hefyd elfennau graffeg o o'n i'n gweld mae cyfryngau ar y pryd graffiau uh, ffeithluniau, infographics ac yn y blaen. A dod â hwn ei gyd at y gilydd a cael trafodaeth am, am hyn a, um, a yn, yn yr eisteddfod amgen. A chi'n gallu gweld yr holl ar ddangosfa mae, mae dal ar lein ar y wefan o'r eisteddfod nawr. Ac yn ola, neu sôn am y prosiectau digidol yn gweithio ar nawr yn yn y brifysgol. Uh, y prif prosiect yw datblygiad a gwrthysiad pob hwyliau neu mood hub a mae hwn yn wefan ac yna uh, i helpu pobl ifanc sydd yn profi yn ystereg gyda eu hwyliau yn enwedig a, a phryder. Ac eto'n dod â'r lluniau a'r diddodeb mae yn y ffordd creadigol a gweledol i gyfleu'r meddwl ac yn ystereg. Felly mae'n hybu hynna'n gymorth, uh, mynd am gymorth, os oes angen, cefnogaeth, ac um, helpu uh, rhieni gofalwyr a pobl eraill sy'n poeni am y person ifanc yma. Y pegeth ei greu drwy gyfres o gyfeliadau a grwpiau gyda pobl ifanc yma yn Nghydydd ac uh, Abertawe a Cefyd uh, dros Arlein. Um, a hefyd gyda rhieni a gofalwyr a gweithwyr proffesiynol a mynd yn ôl ymlaen i'r grwpiau yma um, gyda'r uh, cwmni digidol, felly o'n i'n neud y brasluniau a gyrru nhw i'r uh, cwmni digidol, mynd nôl i'r grwpiau ffocws ac yn y blaen a gweithio gyda ni meiddiwr hefyd. Ac fel i'ch chi'n gweld, o'n i'n mynd o syniadau cynnar iawn ar y top ffyna, gyda post-it notes a brasluniau, ac wedi mynd trwy i beth yn ni'n galw'r wireframes a'r uh, lluniau diagwyn a'r sgriniau lliw um, yn y diwedd. Ac mae hwn i gyd wedi cyhoeddi um, yn dwy bapur yn uh, General Medical Internet Research a General Child Psychology and Psychiatry. 
a nath ni gwerth gwerthusiad cynnar gyda dros 40 o bobl ifanc yn neu a gorllewin Cymru uh, oedd wedi defnyddio'r uh, rhaglen dros gwbl fisodd a gallai oedd hyn yn bennaf um, mae'r holl uh, mae'r holl rhaglen yn ddwyieithog um, a sori mae'r uh, dyfyniadau yn y Saesneg fyna yn dod o, o, o'r papur gallu ei gyhoeddi ond gallu ni lot o adborth uh, uh, positif iawn ond hefyd lot o syniadau am sut i ddatblygu hwn yn bellach. Um, a dyna beth uh, wedi bod wneud dros ymysod diwethaf hefyd ac edrych nôl ar y sylwadau yn yr holiaduron, yn y wrth cyfroliadau, uh, ar grwpiau ffocws nathon ni ynglyn ar um, cwpwyliau. Felly dyma sut rydym yn edrych nawr, dyma'r sgrin groeso. Um, I think I'll weld my negative uh, negative on the top. I think I'll be mewn at um, my site address. In our Bethel Hill after in am resume possible. Die address are here and come north. I can get in Blake. I'll help. And I stay there. I'm doing the normal get a sell there after there. I address a good daily a public simple name that's only one. Eto mae hyn i gyd yn ddiwethog um, ond hefyd gyda'r nod o gall ei fod yn rhwydd i gyfieithu yn, uh, i ieithod eraill os oes angen. A fel chi'n gallu gweld, mae'n llawn dyrluniau a nimeddiadau um, yn cyfle i syniadau um, cymleth rai nhw uh, a, 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 i, i helpu gyfathrebu i um, ymgysylltu gyda, gyda pobl ifanc. Mae, mae fe yn ddiweddar ar App Store a Google Play a cyn gallu gweld bynnu'n uh, sgrini o dyddiadur hwyliau a dyddiadur um, targedau um, a ond mae eisiau um, username a, a password i fynd mewn i ddiwe um, os ych chi uh, a diddordeb. Um, os oes amser, allai dangos munud na ddoi o'r animeiddiad uh, jyst i roi syniad o sut mae'n edrych. Mae normal i bobl ifanc dim mewn isel a ffeidio mwynhau pethau weithiau. Os fydd y teimladau hynny para am amser hir, neu'n dod yn ôl yn gyson ac yn dechrau effeithio'r rych bywyd o ddydd i ddydd, gall hyn fod yn arwydd fod angen help arnynt. Mae llai drwy ddod o hyd i ffyrdd i helpu i hunain, neu drwy gael help gan eraill. Mae hwyliau isel a ffrydr yn aml yn digwydd gyda'i gilydd, a gall yn teffeithio'r bobl o unrhyw oedra. Mae'n gyffredin i bobl ifanc i brofi'r anawsterau yma. Gall y rhaglen hon neu ddefnyddio fel gwefan neu ap. Mae wedi anelu at bobl ifanc a'u teuluoedd, gofalwyr, ffrindiau a gweithwyr proffesiynol. Synawyddus i mi bod mwy am hwyliau, cryder, iselder ac anhawsterau iechyd eraill. Mae hefyd yn cynnwys cyngor ar hyn yn gymorth, ffyrdd o aros yn iach a ble gael help. Efallai o byddwch yn ei ddefnyddio am eich bod yn cael anasterau. Er enghraifft, os ydych yn teimlo'n isel, yn ofidus neu o dan bwysau. Mae'n bosib mae dim ond nifer fach o anawsterau sy'n gennych, neu efallai bod gennych lawer sy'n effeithio'n sylweddol ar eich bywyd. Efallai eich bod hyd yn oed wedi cael diagnosis o iselder neu bryder, neu efallai eich bod y pryderu ag gall eich wynebu anawsterau yn y dyfodol. Er enghraifft, os oes rhyw yn y teulu wedi wynebu problemau gyda hwyliau isel neu bryder, neu os ydych o dan glyn dipyn o bwysau. Mae'n ystyr o'i syniad o'r um, anwneiddiad. Felly mae hwnna'n cyflwyno'r rhaglen i bobl ifanc. Um, ups, a wedi ni'n, creu, ni'n dechrau tra, treial o hwnnw fe mis nesaf. Felly os oes unrhyw yn bynnu'n gweithio gyda pobl ifanc 13-19 oed, neu nabod pobl ifanc gwella sy'n profi yn asteri gyda'i hwyliau neu pryder. Um, Croeswch chi ei bostio fi. Um, ni'n uh, mae'r treial mae dros Gymru gyfan, mae dyn ni ganiatad i, i wneud hyn drwy um, uh, yr NHS, ond hefyd drwy ysgolion a gelusennau ac yn blaen. Hefyd mae'n ail ganolfan yn yr Alban i weld um, pam o'r uh, ddaiwe bynna uh, gyda'r uh, Albanwyr. Um, a mae uh, gwefan, os ydych chi, um, link ar link fyna ar y dde i gael mwy o gwybodaeth a tyflenu gwybodaeth a hefyd fi'n gallu gyrru mas cardiau i bobl sydd um, a diddordeb i, i roi i bobl ifanc. 
mana project eraill, um, cynnyddu orffen yr enghraifft hwn ar ADHD ac eto yn defnyddio trosiadau uh, ac darluniau i helpu i gyflwyno ADHD i, I blant sy'n newydd cael diagnosis ac uh, cygluro uh, pethau i'w teulu hefyd ac mae'r link fyna i, I fyna. Felly fi'n gobeithio bod wedi rhoi blas i chi o'r, o'r projectau i'n gweithio yno yn priodigol ac yn waledol yn anghyd estyn um, iechyd meddwl yn mewn gydydd a'r projectau sydd yn mynd ymlaen mae croeswch chi e bostio a yn apus i rhannu uh, y dolenni ar, ar papurau hefyd. Ychwanegol. Diolch yn fawr iawn i, I, I chi rys, os hwnna mor ddiddorol, a dwi'n siŵr bydd pobl eisiau cymryd mantais o cynnig caredig I, I rhannu gwybodaeth a hefyd i anfon y doleni. Felly, um, ymlaen at yr ein ail siaradwr, Dr. Francis Williams. Thank you, Jill. Um, last talk I gave, I rambled on a bit. So can you jump in if I do that this time? Just going to share my screen. Let me know when you can all see it. How are we doing? Everybody can see it? Can you reply, Jill? Because I can't see anything. Sorry. No, I, I can't. I can still see you. Oh, damn. That's a problem. Let me try and again. Bear with. There you go. That should be better. Yeah, got it now. Fantastic. There we are. So my talk is entitled Peace and Arts in Health, the role of culture as balm or harm. So I'm zooming right out now from individual projects to look at the concept of arts in health. It's something that I currently teach as as part of a new MA at Glyndor University. And I think it's fair to say that it's, um, it's a new interdisciplinary field of practice in in the UK and in Wales especially. I was interested earlier that uh, John uh, Wynne-Jones named the temple the Peace, Temple of Peace and Health, because he was really instrumental in setting up arts and health in around 2000 with the Windsor Declaration and bringing the medical humanities into the mainstream of healthcare services at that point. Um, So yeah, I did my PhD at Manchester Met between 2016 and 19, and it was it was really designed around looking at the policy context for this practice and this kind of work that takes place between health services and the creative sector. And it was looking at so it was funded through the devolution settlement in Manchester at the time. One thing they didn't really pay much attention to is that other places had devolution for a lot longer than Manchester had. And I was quite keen to bring in some Welsh case studies uh, next door to the ones from Manchester to compare different forms of devolved context for this type of work, you know. Um, Maybe it wasn't quite as new and radical in Manchester as they thought because it had been going on in Wales for a long time. So I'm actually gonna pull up some of the case studies from my PhD within this talk um, to do that. Uh, One in particular in in Llandidno. But I thought I'd uh, just go back really and look at how culture has been really key in conveying the horror of war to um, broader civilian publics throughout history, really. And that, you know, poetry in particular is a art form that has conveyed that like nothing else, perhaps. So probably this audience would need no introduction to these three, uh, Hedwin, um, uh, Wilfred Owen and Lewis Valentine and together they really um, were able to convey um, the horror of war but the need to promote peace as well and of course it was only Valentine that survived the First World War to be able to actively do that and put it into action in various ways when he returned from the war. And I I wanted to actually look at this which is the definition of health 
produced by the World Health Organization in 1948. And I think that's a year when, due to the complete horror of the Second World War and the new technologies of destruction, there was a need to um, really redefine what health was as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Um, and when I um, tuned in earlier to the earlier speakers, it seems quite interesting parallel there between this idea of peace, not merely as the absence of war, but a wider flourishing. And I think that's something that health and peace really have in common in terms of these definitions or maybe these polarity ways uh, of thinking about them. These, this is a very expansive definition of what peace involves and it's one that encompasses culture as central to it. And because of that, it's one that current practitioners within creative health, as it's now called, use. So uh, for them, um, they believe that uh, health embraces a positive and a holistic understanding of what, what it means to be healthy in body, mind and community is how they phrase it. This was a report produced in 2017 as part of an all parliamentary group um, for um, health and creative arts and wellbeing. And they now work through a national centre for creative health, which encompasses various actors within Wales too. Um, and indeed, it's a very active sector within Wales now where big strides have been made in setting up coordinators for arts and health across all the Welsh health boards, which is rather unique um, due to this mapping report that was produced in the same year as Creative Health. And indeed, I'm a, on, on, the, on the steering board of the Wales Arts Health and Wellbeing Network, which promotes this sector of work. So it's a very new and emergent um, set of practices with its own um, evidence base. So one of the projects that we just heard about would be very much um, included in these mapping reports, which are usually full of evidence that they work in clinical settings. But the focus that I'd really um, like to look at today is one of um, ordinary cultures versus funded cultures. So ordinary cultures in the term, you know, on the terms um, that were set up by Raymond Williams, the kind of wider cultural forces that are, that are being felt by young people in terms of, um, you know, uh, attractive, attractive, creative, um, militaristic cultures, I guess you could say. So this slide is from a photographer called David Garner, who was a, a peace activist that I traveled with to Llandidno for Armed Forces Day in 2018. Um, he's a great photographer. I love this image as well. It, create, it contains a lot of the elements of why these militaristic cultures might be attractive to young people in terms of uh, how colourful, how creative, how skillful the Red Arrow pilots are in presenting uh, these technologies of warfare in terms of an entertainment and indeed they come with uh, recruitment uh, vehicles attached as, as this photograph shows. So this took place in 2018 in Llandidno, uh, which of course is a town which has as its uh, town motto, Hav, Hav and Hev, um, and is known for its um, peaceful character as a town. Um, one of the things that was interesting about it for me was that there was Arts Council Wales funded programme, um, which was designed to promote the idea of reclaiming lost spaces within the town. And this uh, photograph here is a, a former RAF club that was based in one of the grand townhouses of Llandidnor. And it's an artist who was appointed there in that year called Ailey Rutherford, who came from Scotland. And she worked with local people to um, uncover what their concerns for the town were and how they'd like to shape uh, Llandidno. And she worked with a, a range of um, civic groups, but um, most notably with Conwy Peace Group. And it was because of this that she got led into a little bit of trouble with the local consortium who had uh, been the recipient of Arts Council Wales funding, who were made up of a, uh, a range of organisations, including local council, the um, Mostyn Estates, various charities that work with veterans. And, and they uh, 
steered her away from working with Conway Peace Group. Um, and certainly uh, Conway Council had an Armed Forces Day representative and they felt that it was inappropriate for her to work with the group in the context of the day. So um, she actually resigned from the residency early as a result of that um, relationship that essentially went wrong. And I thought this was kind of a fascinating example of a breakdown in a relationship that was worth looking into um, a little bit more in terms of how, how these local structures work to promote certain agendas or how artists work within them or uh, how conflict and resolution indeed conflict is worked out within a local context like the one um, that was taking place in North Wales through this funding stream and through this lo local consortium. So she set up a centre for creative activism within this former lost space and um, showed a range of different artists that had worked with peace causes over the years. So we had uh, workshops with John Lennon and Yoko Ono. She looked at the Green and Common and the relationship of Wales to the setting up of the camp in Green and Common. And she invited Conway Peace Group to respond creatively to Armed Forces Day as a creative experiment. What, how could they gather artists and, and local people to protest the day? Um, so as it turned out, many, many forms of creative activism took place on Armed Forces Day in Clendid Node 2018. Amongst them were um, Kamdaithasi um, Kamod, I think, here with um, a series of women that were dressed in black that had a silent, um, met the parade as it was coming towards them here with, with silence. And this banner that um, read, War is not family entertainment. So in a sense, after the main march of the military had gone by, there was a separate peace march um, that had its own logic and tradition of banners and um, uh, being, a, being a march in that sense. Also, there were some kind of uh, crazy performances. So uh, this is a performance artist from Scotland called Anthony Schrag. And because Schenkin the goat that year tried to run away from the military and refused to get caught as a story in the local press, he dressed up as a peace goat to lead the, own, lead the uh, peace march. So um, I must admit, I, I, I uh, sourced these walking sticks for him. <laughs> and um, we, together we improvised this outfit and uh, he led the peace march and had some really um, fun engagements with publics who were actually rather disappointed not to see Schenkin on that occasion. I don't know where he was, maybe he didn't behave, uh, or maybe they hadn't caught a goat in time, but uh, we, we never caught sight of the military mascot that day. But of course it is, it is something that is taken into schools and used as a propaganda tool to recruit for the military. Um, so behind the fun, uh, there were serious points that we were trying to make. I was in there as a participant observer, I, uh, which is a particular form of research where you become very embedded within a group. Uh, at the same time, I was visiting veterans groups as part of a, a wider research into the sort of creative projects that they were undertaking. So it was a tricky research project to negotiate because my sympathies were very much <laughs> with the peace protesters and indeed my father was a Quaker. Um, so I was familiar with that tradition within Wales. Um, Alongside that, we had some surreptitious stickers that were posted around Clendidno, like resist militarism with a little goat. And Ailey produced a family workshop, uh, Kids for Peace, that produced T-shirts as well. And they were worn across the day by various uh, families and um, people um, at the time. And then also uh, there were these stickers uh, inviting people not to forget the memory of Lewis Valentine himself. So Lewis Valentine um, was a preacher at the tabernacle in the middle of Llandudno. And this is a photograph. It became one of the um, stages for Llaw, which is a creative arts, uh, um, creative arts festival within Llandudno and an empty space. It was one of these lost spaces that uh, we sought to activate um, alongside the RAF club, um, which has also fallen into empty and disrepair state. It was, it was actually very um, moving to enter the chapel on that day and experience the peace of the chapel when there were so many people 
in Llandidno for, for, for the um, Armed Forces Day. There was some very large jet engines that came across bombers on parade. It was a very heavy atmosphere at times, actually, and um, it was lovely to escape into the peace of the tabernacle. And it was used as part of a group that uh, was instigated by Ailey, but then took on its own momentum. And there was one young woman who was, um, I don't think she'd mind my telling you, but um, she, uh, she had a husband who had PDST from whom she was separated and uh, wrote a lot of poetry about um, the effect of war within her family. And she went to one of the um, cultural evenings held at the Tappanapple, and uh, it was a mixture of poets, both amateur and professional, a mixture of musicians to celebrate uh, peace that same week. And she, uh, they all sang the famous hymn that Lewis Valentine, uh, Dross of Gumry, am I, I'm saying that right, I think, yes, which was um, his sort of, you know, national anthem for Wales. And she says that as a, as, a, as a sort of Welsh speaker, she said, the words came back to me in that moment from a very deep place. Um, and she described it as a feeling in her gut and said it, it was the first time in many years that I'd felt truly, truly at home. The, these are extracts from my PhD, <laughs> um, where it seemed like her words validated some of the assertions made around this Welsh concept of Cynevin, that to have both a sense of place and time, and to be conscious of identity and a belonging. And I know the sense of belonging is something that's come across very strongly out of today, um, in terms of how important it is that we feel connected to what, you know, other people, where we are um, and our relationship to place and language. One of the most difficult things that Lee said when she was attending the protest in Llandidno is a lot of people had told her to go back home. And she had said, well, I am home, I live here. You know, I thought how remarkable it was that a person in Wales could be told to go home. <laughs> and how, uh, you know, relating to the earlier talk about exile, how you can be exiled by people within your own home uh, through these um, constructions of nationhood, you know. Um, I'm just going to finish up. I'm probably rattling along too quickly now, I, I should imagine, Jill, uh, having said that I'd overrun. But um, I just wanted to highlight the broader context for how the peace tradition in Wales is represented within museums and galleries as well, because I think that's very important. So when I was taught poetry at school, I was taught about the war poets. They weren't framed as peace poets, for example, you know, I think these framings are very important in terms of education and how we understand the relationship of culture to health through the horror of war and the, and the necessity of ensuring that it doesn't happen again, although it seems to. So this slide is from um, Gallery in Carnarvon and um, a gallery in um, Banger, I beg your pardon, and um, oh, I've got am I getting it wrong? Yes, yeah, the other one, isn't it? What's the name of the gallery in um, Banger? Anyway, Pontio. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, opposite Pontio, actually, the museum, the old museum there. Oh gosh. Anyway, it's in Banger. <laughs> Is it Storyel? Oh, Storyel. Oh, do you have a here? Um, my memory. There you go. So Storiel. Yeah, I love Storiel. It's got a fantastic programme um, and it, it has a collection of badges that, that actually celebrate protest and, and place it within a context and a time and, and that show that peace is part of that civic right to dissent. Um, and I was very grateful to see it there. I know that recently they had an exhibition of placards on behalf of Bangor Youth Climate Group as well. So I donated some of those to the museum and they're gonna keep them for posterity, which I was very pleased to hear that their collection is being added to in that way. But it's not always the case that this, this is so. So this is a projection. This is an imagined feature that we're looking at here, the military museum of medicine in Cardiff, which has controversially be planned in, in um, Cardiff Bay. And um, I think it does relate to how health, well-being, and um, peace are being configured as um, 
a way of making it okay to talk about military history through reviving its medical treatments, if you like, yeah? Um, I can't quite read my slide because um, let me condense all the little people down the side. Here we go. So um, this was, uh, I, I had a bit of a rant uh, in an article, so I'm gonna quote it out. But the Hippocratic Oath that invites doctors to first do no harm um, has kind of been flipped through the, through the the proposal of this museum and suggests that harms can be mitigated by way of cultural balm after the event uh, and I think it's a pernicious inversion really which invites future harms while brushing over those that have already been committed or left um, unacknowledged and um, I think with these two examples, you can see some of the tensions within what's been known as the culture wars that are being mobilized and where Welsh culture is being enlisted in favor of um, certain narratives that frame peace in certain ways. So the Museum of Military Medicine had a big um, Twitter item on Bessie Cadwalda, for instance, very much folding in Welsh culture into this other histories and narratives of, of, of militarism. Um, and of course, with the recent war, there are, again, interesting alignments around peace protesters in Russia and peace protesters in Wales, um, as though they are uh, different when, in fact, you know, the, the police and crime bill will outlaw protest um, in the UK in very worrying ways in the near future. And it raises these uh, larger contextual points about how we read peace in relation to culture and in relation to health and how important it is to return to my opening question, farm or harm, to see creativity um, not merely as an amelioration of difficulty or conflict, but to see it as an active force and that peace, peacekeeping is not a passive pursuit, it is an active uh, agitation for peace as much as a... Um, uh, conserving of peace that we have. So I hope that's um, an interesting provocation. I think it does raise issues around the question of the Welsh government and its support of different cultural activities and what kind of solidarities are struck between different representatives across different um, cultural lines and how the work of the Academy Heddwch is really important in schools of education um, especially at a time when arms manufacturers are, are testing um, some of their funding within schools uh, to promote um, militaristic cultures and a, a broader culture of ordinary militaristic cultures instead of those of peace. So um, yeah, quite a lot there. I hope I haven't zoomed out too much. Um, if you want to uh, check out um, some of what I'm talking about. It's only the lightest touch I can give here, I'm afraid, but um, there were a couple of links there to places where I've talked about it, including my thesis, and there's one coming out soon, um, talking about um, air as atmosphere, talking about landed no specifically, where there's a lot of texture on what people said on the day um, to the protesters, uh, much of which was very positive and not merely negative, as well as being told to go home. Many old ladies walked up to Lee and said, Diane, Thank you. Francis. Thank you very much. That was really fascinating. And we we have got five minutes or so for, for some questions now at the end. Um Tradin uh Grando R Rees. Rise in Medal and Rubes to Edos Ruin Mount Session and Ganhada Hedi. Um we must be able to imagine peace. Marai Burning Gashi Dichmagi Hedoch Ak, as Henny and Canny Cloch get at Fathers as as Treason and Dangos Shetty Dichmagi Saloch Ak, um, Mar Doi Gabluniad, Weddy Bord and Wahanolian and on Gossadiki Destin in Eman Fords, a mass of wives to me a shagnaid in our academy Hedoch. A shutty event ati. Ak, do we them and gweld question eto on my in gedevir? Um, sev in sin debig yawned question nas meredit ofin and ganharach. 
oes gwersi yma i ni yn Academy Heddwch Cymru o ran heddwch mewn cymdeithas a heddwch byd hyd yn oed. Yn y, yn y, y ffordd mae'r ddoi ohonych chi wedi siarad am eich gwaith. Um, beth mae hynny yn gallu um, dysgu i ni yn ein gwaith ni dros heddwch yng Nghymru? Francis, do you want to start and then I'll ask Greece? Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? Mm. I, th I think Wales has a very distinctive peace tradition that perhaps not everybody knows about and that needs to be taught, really. Um, my only contact with that tradition was through my father, who was a Quaker, and it gave him a lot of agency to... Um, and indeed, there have been a lot of religious religious tilts, haven't there, today, actually, in terms of our spiritual well-being and how that links in and out of worlds. But it allowed him political agency, my father. So up on the, on the sideboard, there'd be letters to General Pinochet to object to people being tortured, you know, because he's part of Amnesty International. And I think that I think that's what people need to grasp everywhere is this agency to be able to advocate for peace actively and that was what was so impressive about the 20s in Wales and the interwar years was how the mobilizations occurred and of course we're so much more atomized today in terms of how we even protest and in terms of the, even the uh, Conway Peace Group I think the average age would be quite old actually so I think this question of how young people are able to um, join across the generations to mobilize for peace is a real challenge and something to think about. Yes. Yeah, um, and Anna, oh, Anna uh, um, yeah. Lan, Lan <laughs> okay. Um Okay. Um, Dan, you know, for uh, um, yeah, so it should be think well. Heddwch, um, chymryd fel, fel iechyd meddwl, mae'n gallu bod yn eitha abstract, eitha subjective, um, ab, ab ein gwybod oedd o'n sesiwn fe'n eitha Felly'n llai union gyrchol yn wneud â'r uh, diffiniad rhoddodiadol o heddwch, ond o'n i'n siŵr o fod yn, yn cyfeirio mwy at heddwch y meddwl, a peace of mind, a, a fi'n credu yn ôl at y cwestiwn, fi'n credu mae'n gweithio ar gwahanol lefelau, os, os os da chi heddwch yn eich meddwl a yn eich teimlad chi o'ch hunan, ac um, Man man wedyn yn ehangu i, i bobl eraill o'ch cwmpas ac yn deithas, a wedyn mae'r felly mae, mae'r pethau chi'n ein gallu wneud yn gallu bod ar lefel unigolyn um, yn yr ysgol neu yn, y, yn therapi neu beth bynnag, ond hefyd mae'n gallu bod yn fwy uh, what, um, universal, mwy uh, cyffredinol hefyd, um, chi ma'n un sôn am bobl and dechre, I mean, my hon was a off a tangent now. Only so on am bobo pam mar chod a shovel and dechre or divay neid a heduch medal shewin um, or divay neid a noon happy skada a subeshwan who hinanaman, my subeshwa buer, my wedding an arwan at your best lot moi. Um, get a lot of bobler and dio there, what was bod. Can the new them are had or any hinan, um, Ebrio Proyatabion, Eve Camlet Yan, and, uh, yeah, that I give by the new driving credit, but yeah, but but personally, Dusky, a grenade at Quahana Levele, Inigolin, Tiliol, Condesas, and Blanc. Thank you, Francis. Oh, Jill, here, mute. Sorry. Yeah. In not a um, academy heddwch, dim y beth mae'n mererydd wedi sgrenu. Um, in or not a, yw dod ar gair heddwch, a syniad o heddwch, yn ôl i'r prifyrs ar cadw, 
mae gan filwr wisg, ond nid felly rhywun sy'n ceisio heddwch. A dyna problem, mae'n anweladwy. Felly, um, mae hi'n awgrymu fod, fod Rhys yn tynnu llun ti mewn i, I ben am, am heddwch, a dyna beth oedd, oedd chi'n dweud hefyd Rhys am uh, syniad o, 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 o lunio heddwch. Ac mae'n, uh, mae'n rhywbeth diddorol iawn, a chysg i ni yn ceisio, a dyna ni wedi heddi, wedi bod yn siarad am heddwch yn ei, ei ystyr llawer i hangach uh, na just bod heb rhyfel yn sgwrs. Um, dwi ddim yn gweld unrhyw gwestiynau eraill. Um, felly falle dyma'r uh, amser i fi ddiolch o galon eto i'r ddau siaradwr sef Dr. Rhys Bevan Jones a Dr. Francis Williams. Dwi eisiau hefyd diolch i Neris am gyfieithu. A'r panel nesa um, yw panel sydd yn edrych ar heddwch, iechyd a llonyddwch mewn ôl. A bydd Do Dr. Einir Young yn cyflwyno ein siaradwyr yn y panel nesa sydd yn cychwyn am chwater i bedwar. Ond os ydy, diolch mor iawn i chi.